a capacity that's better than where you were when you started. So that's what we're going to be in 2014 to one another. We're going to be the motivators. We're going to be those personal trainers that push out each other, our brothers and our sisters, beyond our limits. We're going to push each other to excel. We're going to strive to see one another succeed. And when I see you slacking a little bit, I'm going to come and say, come on, it's time to get up. We've got a race to run. We've got purpose to fulfill. We've got somewhere to be. Because otherwise what happens is we become the gym partners. Now, when I call you in the morning and tell you I don't feel like going, you're telling me, okay, good, I didn't want to go either. And sometimes I love to have those friends because having a guilt-free conscience of sleeping in when you're supposed to be at gym and no one's holding you accountable to that promise you made yourself the day before is sometimes such a relief. But by the end of that day, when I'm looking back and saying, if I had just someone who had, had told me to get up, you don't have a choice in the matter. Just get up and do it. And when we were there, they were pushing me to give everything that I had. Then by the end of the day, they were the better friend that was, that was saying, I want what's better for you. I know what you're capable of. I want to see you in a greater dimension. I know what you really want. I believe there's greatness within this year. I believe inside of you there is invested the greatness of what God has called you and ordained you to be. And I believe that as far as we can see, as big as we can imagine, we can begin to achieve it. But it's not only going to come at a ministerial level, but each one of us on a personal level have to start picking up responsibility to say, who are you? What difference are you making? What are the dreams that you have? What businesses do you want to start? What competitions do you want to win? What friendships or relationships do you want to find? What nations do you want to see? What do you want to do in this year, 2014? And how are you going to make it happen? Successful people that are out there owning multi-million dollar companies or succeeding with franchises and, and businesses and ideas and being entrepreneurs, they aren't smarter than you. They're just more disciplined. If we could grab a hold of that and understand to be successful doesn't mean I have to have some kind of degree. Doesn't mean I have to have some kind of intelligence. It just means that I've got to have enough discipline to see whatever my dream is come to pass. We are more than overcomers. We're not overcoming what was. We overcome that which is still to come. In other words, we've won battles we've never going to have to fight. Oh my goodness. You better get on with it. Otherwise, 2014 will be just like 2013. We've won battles we will never have to fight. That's why we are more than overcomers through Christ who strengthens us. We're not limited. We're not restricted. We've been made free. We weren't set free, Daniela. Because if you were set free, something else can come and capture you. But when you're made free, it means nothing can capture you unless you let it. Say, I'm not going to let it. I'm not going to let it, not in this new season of mine. I'm not going to let it, not in this new year given to me. I'm not going to let it, not in these next 365 and a quarter days. I'm not going to let it overcome me. I'm not going to let it overtake me. I'm not going to let it encumber me. I'm not going to let it. Come on. He set me above and not beneath. He did that for you. When he looked for a position for you, guess where he put you? Top. Square on the shoulders mm. of his governance. Yes. Mm. And he says, from this position, I want you to rule. And I want you to reign in life. In the life I'm entrusting to you, I want you to be sovereign in it. That means when storms come, you can face the storm with no fear. Some of you watch storm clouds gathering, whether they're natural or psychological, financial, relational. And then you start panicking. What is the storm going to bring? No, 
Don't ever think what the storm's bringing. Think who you are. Because in the midst of the storm, all you have to do is spread out your wings of prayer and praise, rise above. Those very winds that were sent to, to, to damage you will propel you. Yep. Those very winds that were sent to put you down will pick you up. Yes. If you know who you are. Listen, you turn around to try to run from that storm, it will overtake you. But God didn't make you the tail. He didn't put you behind. He made you the head and he put you at the front of the class. He did, he's decided already that you're an A-plus student. Thank you, Jesus. Because sometimes I don't feel like an A-grade student. Sometimes I don't feel like I'm at the top of the class. But my feelings got nothing to do with it. And your feelings got nothing to do with it. Your feelings will tell you something different every day. And I want to tell you this, your feelings will lie to you. They will manipulate you and they will try to control your destiny. Because your feelings are ordered from outside. Where God orders your steps from inside.